Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. This tutorial provides an overview of Exact Contact's mobile CRM, highlighting its many unique and useful features. Exact Contact's mobile CRM changes the way you do business. You can now manage your business from anywhere and on any device, including your mobile phone. You log in to your Exact Contact mobile CRM with the same user ID and password that you use for the desktop version. Upon logging in for the first time, you'll be presented with your contact list. To find a specific contact, you can either scroll the list or you can use the search field at the top of the screen to search by name, company name, any address field, or any email address. To quickly add a task, record a note, send an SMS or text message, send an email, or place a phone call for a specific contact. Swipe with the contact record in the list from right to left and tap the appropriate icon. Upon sending a text message, an email, or placing a phone call, the app automatically takes you to the next step screen, which allows you to enter a note, create a task, or create an appointment for the contact. When you're done, Tap the Done button to return to the contact list. To add a new contact, tap the plus button at the bottom of the list. To view or edit a contact's full profile, simply tap the contact name in the list. The information for a contact is separated into a number of tabs that can be accessed by tapping the icons at the top of the screen. The Profile tab can be scrolled to see the full contact profile details, including phone numbers and email addresses for the main contact and spouse partner, home address, contact groups, original source, buying preferences, work details, birth dates, household members, referral history, and whatever other information you have entered for the contact. From the Profile tab, you can also add a note, create a task or an appointment, make a phone call, send an SMS or text message, or send an email for the contact by tapping the appropriate button or icon. If you send an email or text message or place a phone call, you are once again taken to the next step screen described earlier. Tap the Done button to return to the contact profile page. To edit a contact, tap the Edit button at the bottom of the profile page. Tap the arrow next to each section in order to make changes in that section. Be sure to tap the Save button at the bottom of the page when you're done. The gray X button cancels any changes you might have made while the red trash can deletes the entire contact record and all related information. The Properties tab displays a list of properties for the contact, including the status of each. The Buying Preferences tab allows you to enter or modify the contact's buying preferences and indicate whether the contact is currently an active buyer. Use the Keep in Touch tab to quickly add a contact to any global Keep in Touch event, including your monthly newsletter. You can also activate or deactivate birth date events, move in anniversary events, or Keep in Touch call events. You can also assign a contact to a marketing activity plan. The Activities tab provides visibility to a contact's full contact history as well as completed and pending activities. You can use the swipe function to swipe an activity from right to left in order to either complete or delete it. Returning to the main menu, select the task list in order to display a list of all your incomplete tasks. Tap on a task in order to view or edit all of the details. You can also swipe a task in the list from right to left to either complete it, delete it, or for contact specific tasks, go directly to the contact profile. Tap the magnifying glass in order to search your task list by any combination of keyword and a range of due dates. 
Tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen to add a new task. The calendar area includes a day view, a month view, as well as an agenda view, which displays a list of all your appointments for a selected week. Simply tap an appointment in order to view or edit all of the details. Tap the plus button at the bottom of the page to add a new appointment. The active business area provides a list of all your active business listings, including the status and key dates for each. Tap the view contact button in order to go directly to the seller or buyer's contact profile page or tap the add note button to add a note to the service report. You can also tap the listing to view all the listing details including prices, commissions, listing dates, and much more. Tap the activities tab at the top of the page to view pending activities for the listing. You can swipe an activity from right to left in order to either complete it or delete it. Tap the Related Parties tab to see a list of all parties related to the listing. You can tap a phone number in order to phone the party, the email address in order to email them, or tap the View Contact button in order to go directly to the full contact profile. The Active Buyers list displays a list of all your active buyers. Tap the View Contact button to go directly to a contact's profile, or tap the Add Note button to add a note to your summary report. The Business Directory area includes the work details for all contacts that have chose, you have chosen to include in your Business Directory. Tap the magnifying glass in order to search your Business Directory by any combination of keyword, business type, or city. You can also tap the View Contact button to go directly to a contact profile. That completes our overview of Exact Contact's mobile CRM. When you combine our cloud-based desktop application with our mobile CRM, you can truly manage your business from anywhere and on any device, giving you the power and flexibility you need as a busy realtor on the go. Thank you for watching this installment of the Exact Contact tutorial series. We hope you found it informative and easy to follow. As always, if you require further assistance, please contact customer support.